Hello everybody. I hope you're doing good. Whether you want to visit Canada to visit your family or friends or you want to explore Canada as a tourist, you need to get Canada visitor visa or tourist visa. So in this video we will discuss step by step process how to apply Canada visitor visa or tourist visa online without the help of any consultant or immigration lawyer. We will discuss in this video list of documents required how to fill online application how to prepare invitation letter funds required or other documents before we begin whole process i would recommend to watch these two videos to increase your chances to get visitor visa on very first attempt the first one is how to prove strong ties to your home country and the second one is canada's visitor visa refusal reasons If you are visiting first time to our YouTube channel then please consider subscribing let's start the whole process open your google browser and search here canada.ca and click on very first link and scroll down click on immigration and citizenship scroll it down again and we need to click here visit scroll down and again we need to click here apply for a visitor visa so click here here you can find information about uh, visitor visa and scroll down you can see here that the application fee for the visitor visa is $100 each applicant If you want to check processing time for visitor visa then simply click on check processing time so here i want to mention that processing time will vary from country to country so if you want to verify that how much processing time it takes for visitor visa for your country so you simply click on this link and you can check it let's go back above and here you can see that for visitor visa all information is given So for example here about the documents steps to apply who can apply supporting documents apply and after you apply For example let's click on supporting documents so once you click on supporting documents supporting documents for visitor visa applicant why are you visiting Canada so you need to select here most relevant option to your visit to Canada so you can select here that you are visiting Canada as a tourist or for a business purpose or for a family visit for the purpose of this video i will be selecting here for a family visit so here what is your family member's status in canada so you need to select under here that he is a canadian citizen or a permanent resident or if you are on temporary resident visa for example if you are a student or if you are on work permit or work visa then you need to select here temporary resident in canada so for example i select here canadian permanent resident so next here do you plan to visit your children or grandchildren for more than 6 months which means that you need to select here yes or no if you select yes it means that your category will change from visitor visa to super visa so super visa is only for parents or grandparents but we will be selecting here no because we want to apply visitor visa for our family members or parents or anyone like you want to bring to canada as a family member so here you can scroll down and you can read all these documents which are required for visitor visa So here I want to mention that these documents will vary from person to person. When we fill out this application online, I will discuss most of these documents which are required for visitor visa one by one. So let's go ahead and go back and click on apply. So here you can scroll down again. Why are you applying for visitor visa? So here you can read all these options and select according to your own situation. You can select any of these, but for the purpose of this video I will be selecting to unite with a family member. Click on get instructions. Yes, I want to unite with a family member. Click on this. How to apply for a visitor visa through the IRCC portal. Click here. 
now if you already have an account on IERCC portal then you can directly sign in if not you can click on sign up and apply now it will ask you what would you like to do today first option is apply for a visitor visa for myself which means that if you are applying for visitor visa for yourself and you are representing your file as well then you need to select first option the second option is apply for a visitor visa on behalf of someone else let's say you live in canada and you want to invite your parents and you want to represent their file it which means that you want to apply parents visitor visa on behalf of them so then you can select second option so for the purpose of this video i will be selecting option one because i want to apply visitor visa for myself do you already have an application in process so i will be selecting here no click on get an ircc portal account because we don't have ircc portal account so we need to enter our email address and then again confirm your email address here and then click on get invitation code so here you need to click on copy to clipboard so let's copy and click on continue to ircc portal sign up page so here you need to paste your invite code again we need to enter our email id here and enter your password and again confirm your password after that you need to enter your surname and your given name or your first name here so here i want to mention that you need to enter your last name and first name or given name exactly as it is it's written on your passport so make sure you exactly copy here i have seen that in many indian passports that if your surname is missing from your passport and your whole name is written under given name then enter your given name under surname and leave given name blank select telephone number of your country or territory since we are applying this application from outside of canada so i will select here others and enter your country code here for example for india i'm gonna enter here 91 and then you need to enter here your local phone number and click on sign up so it says here that a verification code has been sent to your email account so we need to check our email id the one we provided here so let's check so we need to go to our email id so here you will see that we have received one email so it has a code inside so we need to copy this code and uh, let's go back to ircc portal page and we need to paste this verification code here then click on confirm so it says here email has been verified please sign in again so again we need to enter our email address and our password again so after you enter these two things we need to click on sign in so now term and condition scroll down and accept now you can see that we are successfully logged to our ircc portal account so here we have these options here start an application since we are applying for visitor visa so i will be clicking on apply for a visitor visa and click on i acknowledge and again click on start application groups do you want to apply for more than one person at the same time for example you want to apply for your parents then you need to select here yes so if you select yes here select the type of group that applies to your situation so you can select here option as per your situation for example if you are applying for parents then you can select here family so select option as per your situation and after that you can create a name for the group so you can give any name as per your wish to this group if you want to apply for visitor visa for your parents i have made a step-by-step -step detailed video how to apply parents visitor visa for canada so you can go to my channel and you can check that video and i will post a link in description as well you can find there scroll up and for the purpose of this video i will select here no and save and continue 
so here application for visitor visa or study permit i want to apply for so you need to select here your relevant option here for the purpose of this video we will be selecting here visitor visa or super visa why do you need a visa so you can see here that we have so many options and we need to select here the one most relevant to our need here for example to visit canada as a tourist or to visit other family who are not listed above or a friend for less than six months here i want to mention that visitor visa and tourist visa are two different things for visitor visa you have to have an invitation letter from someone inside canada but for tourist visa we don't require any kind of invitation letter for the purpose of this video as we want to apply visitor visa so i will be selecting here to visit other family who are not listed above or a friend for less than six months scroll down tell us more about what will you do in canada include dates so you need to provide here your reason why you want to visit canada for example here i have mentioned that to visit a family member it could be your brother sister who is inviting you to canada it could be son or daughter who is already living in canada and they want to bring their parents to canada and also you need to include dates from which date to which date you want to bring them to canada explain your reason you have 475 characters here so make sure that you explain everything in brief here when will you enter in canada so again you need to provide here your tentative dates that from this date to this date you want to stay in canada and enter your tentative dates here again uci number if you are applying first time for visitor visa for canada then this will stay blank here if you have already applied for visitor visa or any other kind of visa for canada then you need to provide this information here so save and continue you can read all this information for example documents you are required to complete this application your passport or an invitation letter from the inviter inside canada then information you need to enter so these all information we will fill out throughout this application when we go ahead so continue to application representative are you applying on behalf of someone else for this application we are applying visitor visa for ourselves so we need to select here no in case you are representing someone else application for example your parents application then you need to select here yes and then you need to fill up all this information carefully. You can check my other video where I have discussed parents visitor visa in detail where you can represent your parents application. I will post a link in description. So let's go back as we want to apply for ourselves. So I will select for now no and save and continue. So here we need to provide travel document information of the applicant. So you need to make sure that the information you provide exactly matches your passport enter applicants last name then we need to enter here applicants given or first name again i want to mention that if your surname is missing from your passport and your whole name is written under given name then enter your given name under surname and leave given name blank then you need to provide date of birth which exactly matches your passport and then you need to select your gender and save and continue here we need to provide applicants passport details for example what documents are you traveling with so select here passport and then what kind of passport so we need to select here regular so you need to see what option is best for you select the country which issued this passport for example india and what's your nationality on your passport so again india and then what is your passport or travel number so you need to provide your passport number here and then you need to confirm again your passport then you need to provide issue date of passport so you need to check on your passport what is the issue date there so you need to provide number as per the given dates on your passports so we're going to provide here then we need to provide date of expiry of your passport so you need to provide your expiry date here after that you need to provide answers to this question as per your condition for example here are you a lawful permanent resident of united states i will select here no 
Have you held a Canadian visitor visa in past 10 years? No. If you had a visitor visa before, then you can select here yes. Do you currently hold a valid US non-immigrant visa? No. Are you traveling to Canada by air? Yes. Save and continue. Again, we need to provide applicants details here, country or territory where you were born. So you need to select here your country of birth. Here you need to provide city or town where you were born. For example, Jaipur. Are you a citizen of more than one country or territory? So no, if you are, then select yes. Here I want to mention that above details about your city of birth, you need to provide as per your passport. Which country are you a citizen of? So you need to select here your country of citizen. Then I'm a citizen of this country since birth. If you are, then tick on this box. If you are not, then you need to provide details under here. Save and continue. National identity document of the applicants. Do you have a valid national identity document? For example, you can provide your Aadhaar card number. If you don't have any national identity document, then you can simply select no. So if you select yes here, then we need to provide Aadhaar card number or any other national identity document number here. Then we need to confirm same number again. Then we need to provide date of issue. Date of issue you won't be able to find on physical copy of the Aadhaar card. For that you need to download digital copy of the Aadhaar card and you will be able to find on the left side of your digital copy. Then we need to select the country which issued this document. Save and continue. This question is asking have you ever used another name? As for me, I have never used another name. But for some women, they do change their name after marriage. So they can click on yes and then they can click on add. Then click on name before marriage. Here you can provide your surname or last name and given name or first name before marriage. Or if you change your previous name, then you can click on previous name and provide details accordingly. Since I have never used another name in the past, I will click on no and save and continue. In this section, it's asking for contact information of the applicant. What's your residential address? So you need to provide your present address. So select your country, India, and provide all information about your present address your street address, your city, and your postal code. Next, is your mailing address the same as your residential address? If yes, then select yes. If your residential address is different than your mailing address, then you need to select here no. And then you need to provide details about your mailing address and you need to enter everything here. And for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna select here yes. In next section, we need to provide our current country of residence. Along with that, we also need to provide if we lived any other country other than your country of residence in last five years for more than six months. For example, if you lived out of your country for more than six months in last five years, you need to provide those details as well. Click on add. Here you need to provide all these details. For the purpose of this video, I have already filled out this section. So I will click on cancel. So let's go here. I will show you how to fill out. So click on edit and select your country of resident, for example, India. And then you need to select here your status in this country. So I would say citizen of India and you are living in this country from which date to which date you need to provide here. So for example, I'm going to say that I'm living in India since my birth. So I will select here my date of birth. You can enter information as per your condition. If you still live in this country, then you need to tick on this box. This is where I live currently. If not, then you need to provide the date you left this country and save it. You can click on add again if you lived any other country in last five years for more than six months. Then you need to click here add and you need to provide those details as well. If not, then you can save and continue. 
biometric of the applicant do we already have your fingerprints and photos and they are still valid click yes if you have provided biometric in your last 10 years for visitor visa or study or work permit application if you didn't provide biometric in last 10 years then simply click on no and save and continue invitation in this section we need to provide information about our inviter the person who is inviting you to canada so you need to provide information of inviter as per his passport inviter can be your brother or sister or if you are sponsoring your parents then inviter will be son or daughter so you need to provide information about uh, inviter in this section provide here inviter's last name then you need to provide here inviter's first name and then we need to provide here relationship to you so i'm gonna select here family and then we need to provide inviter's mailing address inside canada by searching here you can find inviter's address inside canada automatically filled out if not then you can select manual input address then you need to enter inviter's address manually here we need to provide inviter's telephone number inside canada and we need to enter it here then we need to provide inviter's email address here and then has someone else invited you i will select here no and save and continue next section is finances how much money do you have for your stay in canada i have roughly used a number twelve thousand dollars here the reason i have entered twelve thousand dollars here because the monthly expenses for canada is around two thousand dollars you need to pay for your apartment you need to pay for your grocery and to travel to different locations inside canada so accounting these all things i have used a number of two thousand dollars for your monthly expenses so if you want to stay in canada for six months which is the maximum stay under visitor visa on single entry so i have entered an amount of twelve thousand dollars here is someone else giving you money for your stay in canada if someone is helping you for your stay in canada and providing financial assistance to you then you need to select here yes for example your parents so when you upload documents under document section then you need to provide all details that who's providing this money if no one is providing you financial assistance then select here no and save and continue in this section we need to provide information about education work or other activities here we need to provide information about our education history so have you ever studied at post secondary school for example university college if you did then select yes we need to click on add to provide our history of education but for the purpose of this video i have already filled out to save some time so i will click here add it and here you can see that on the first column here you need to provide your university or college name then you need to provide from which year to which year you studied if your study is still ongoing then you need to click on this ongoing tab if you are still student it shows that you have very strong ties to your back home which is very important to get visitor visa for canada i have made a detailed video that how to show strong ties or what are the most common reason that leads to rejection of canada visitor visa you can find link in description to know all those reasons moving forward we need to provide here level of study so you need to select here option most relevant to you then we need to provide here field of study for example i have selected here commerce you can select your field of study you can select here law you can select here medicine so you need to select option as per your situation then we need to provide address of your institute and once you are done then we need to save by clicking on add button you can provide details of each program you have studied or you are currently studying so let's move forward work history if you serve in any military or militia or civil defense or any police force then you need to select here yes and then you need to add relevant information about your job or any other service and click on save for the purpose of this video i'm gonna select here no and move forward give details of all your employment and activities for the past 10 years 
and make sure that you don't leave any gap in between. Even you were unemployed, provide details that from this time period to this time period I was unemployed. To provide information about your employment, simply click on add, then you need to provide your all work details here. As I have already filled out this section, I will close here and click here edit. You need to provide information here that you started working for this job from this date to this date. If your job is still ongoing, then simply click on ongoing tab and then we need to provide here work or activity. You can select here option which suits your job profile. If you are a homemaker, you can select homemaker. If you are a government servant, you can select here government position. So if you are unemployed, you can select here unemployed. So select option which most suits you. Then we need to provide here our job title. So you need to select out of this category that which job title best suits to your job profile. And then you need to select that. Next, you need to provide your employer name here. And then you need to provide main duties of your job. So describe your main duties of the job in brief. After that, you need to provide address of your employment. You can enter here. Once you are done, then you can simply save. After that, I want to mention that if you worked for more than one employer, then you need to provide other job details as well without any gap by clicking on add button. So let's go ahead, save and continue. Travel history. This section is very important because this section will help you to establish your strong ties to back home. If you have a travel history that you travel out of your country to any European country or any other country, which shows that you always return back to your home. Even if you don't have travel history, still you can prove your strong ties to back home. For that purpose, I have made another video in detail that how you can show your strong ties to back home. You can find a link in description. But if you have travel history details, then you can simply click on yes and then you can click on add. Then you can provide details of your travel and save. For the purpose of this video, I will select here no and save and continue. Travel history continued. Have you ever stayed in Canada beyond the validity of your status? Attended school in Canada without authorization or worked without authorization in Canada? If so, then select yes. If no, select no here. So we will select no here. Have you ever been refused a visa or permit or denied or ordered to leave any country? If yes, then you need to provide as many as detail possible about when that happened and why. Explain everything in detail in this box here. If no, then simply click on no and save and continue. And here we need to provide answers to criminality and security. So read all these questions and answer as per your condition. For most of the applicants, the answers to these questions will be no. For example, have you ever committed any crime? No. Have you ever arrested for criminal offense? No. Have you ever been charged for any criminal offense? No. Have you ever been convicted for any criminal offense? No. Save and continue. Have you been member or associated with any political party or you been involved in any criminal activity at any time? Select no. Have you ever witnessed or participated in ill treatment? No. Save and continue medical background questions have you had a medical exam performed by an ircc authorized panel physician within the last 12 months if yes select here yes if no select no here and save and continue medical background question tuberculosis in last two years were you diagnosed with tuberculosis if yes select here yes if no select here no you can read here that if you had or you have a history of tuberculosis, it doesn't mean that you cannot come to Canada. Once your treatment is completed, you can come to Canada. In last five years, have you been in close contact with person with tuberculosis? So I will select here now, save and continue. Simply you can read all these questions and answer these as per your situation and save and continue. 
So here family information, marital status. What is your current marital status? So select whatever status applies to you. If you are married, select married. Then you need to provide date of marriage here. Then you need to provide your spouse details here, first name and last name and date of birth of your spouse. And you need to provide country of birth for your spouse then present occupation as well. If your spouse is living at same address as yours, then say yes here. Will your spouse will accompany you to Canada? If yes, select here. Yes, no, select no. So here I want to mention that if your spouse is not coming with you and uh, she's staying back home, it will show that you have strong ties to back home as well. If you have kids back home, it will show that you have strong ties back home because you have kids. So provide all these details. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to say that uh, I'm single and save and continue. Do you have any biological adopted or stepchildren? I would say no. Save and continue. Tell us about your parents. So here we need to provide parents details here. So I would click on add. So here you need to provide details about your parents one by one. And once you're done, you need to click here save. So for now, I have already filled out. So I will close it here. So here you can see that I have entered two entries here. The first one is for my father and second one is for my mother. So I will simply click here add it just to show how to fill out these details. So here you need to enter your father's uh, last name and then you need to provide your father's given or first name. Then you need to select here relationship to you father or mother. So here we will select father. Then you need to provide date of birth of your father and then you need to provide country of birth and then we need to provide here present occupation if your father is working then you need to provide here that detail as well does this parent have the same address as you yes if not then select no will this parent come with you to canada no click on save similarly click on add and add your mother details as well so once you add your father and mother details here i want to mention that as you have your parents back home, it shows visa officer that you have strong ties to back home. Once your trip to Canada is over, visa officer thinks that you will return back to home, which is a very good thing for your visitor visa application. So save and continue. Language of the applicant. What is your native language or mother tongue? So you can select your mother tongue here, Hindi, Punjabi, Tamil, Telugu, whatever is your mother tongue, you can simply select here. Can you communicate in English or French? So you can select here English if you can communicate. What language do you want us to use to contact you? So I will select here English and save and continue. So you need to provide email address of the applicant and confirm your email address. Once you confirm, click on save and continue. So telephone number of the applicant. So I will click on add. So here you need to select telephone type cellular, select telephone number other. So you need to provide here country code. So in case of India, we need to enter here 91. Then you need to provide here your telephone number. Once you provide it, click on save. And then we need to click here save and continue. So summary of information. Once we have provided all the information about the applicant. So after that, we need to review our application. So I would say that you can click on expand all. You can read each and every information which you have provided throughout the application. So if you see that there's any change you want to make it, so simply click on add it and you can change that section. Once you are okay with the provided information and you think everything is perfect, then you can scroll down all the way down and save and continue. So this is document section where you need to upload documents to support your visitor visa application. I would recommend you to read all this information before you scroll down. The size limitation for the each document you want to upload here is 2 MB. If there is any file which is bigger than 2 MB, you need to reduce the size by using different online available softwares. Then you can upload it. So let's scroll down. So here you can see that we have supporting document section. 
So under this section, we have to upload different documents. First one is invitation letter. You can read all information given under invitation letter that which things you need to keep in mind when you prepare your invitation letter. To make it easier, you can find detailed video on my channel for how to prepare invitation letter. I will post a link in description as well or you can directly go to my channel and find it. Also you can download this as a sample as well. This invitation letter has to be provided by inviter. For example, your family member who is living in Canada, don't forget to attach inviter status inside Canada as well along with this invitation letter, for example, PR card, student permit or work permit. Let's move to second point, national identity document. So here you need to upload a copy of your Aadhaar card. Next is your passport. So you need to upload a color copy of first and last page of your passport. Along with that, if you have visited any country, then you need to provide all stamps and the visa marking which you have on your passport. It will show that you have strong ties to your back home as well. Next section is funds. I would recommend you to read all details provided and prepare documents accordingly. So here I want to mention that all documents will vary from person to person. If you won't be getting financial support from someone during your stay in Canada, then you can provide your bank statement for past four months to show amount enough to cover your expenses. If you are working, then provide job letter, your pay stab or pay slips, your ITR or any other document which you think it is important for your application. If you own any property on your name, you can provide property evaluation as well. So this will help you to establish your strong ties to your back home as well. If you own agriculture land, you can also provide J forms, original and translated. I would recommend you to make a table of content and merge all these documents to one PDF and upload here. If you will depend on someone financially during your stay in Canada, then you should read here and provide this document accordingly. So let's move to the next section here. Optional documents. Consent personal information. So if you want to complete this form, it's totally up to you. If you don't want to complete this form, don't, don't complete it. It doesn't make any difference to your application. So it's totally up to you if you want to provide or not. Next is employer letter. If you are working and you want to provide a letter from your employer, then you can upload here. The last is additional documents. Any document which you think it will increase your chances to get visitor visa, you should upload here. I would recommend you to upload here proof of relationship depending of the type of relationship to inviter. It can be a marriage certificate, family documents or photos. So you need to provide a proof of relationship here as well. You can also provide an affidavit that you undertake. You will return back to your country once your trip to Canada is over. Once you upload additional documents here, click on save and continue. So here consent and declaration. Do you consent to be contacted by CIC in future? Yes. So here's signature of the applicant. Provide here last name of the applicant and then you need to provide here the first name of the applicant. So once you provided here these details, scroll down and click on save and continue. Fee. So for the biometric, you need to pay $85 and for the visitor visa application, we need to pay $100. So in total, we need to pay $185 and click on save and continue. You can pay here for your application and biometric using your debit or credit card. As I cannot go beyond here, so after you pay, you will see that there are two things more left here. One is consent and declaration and the second is complete. So once your application is completed, what you can do, you can come to your home page and you can check your application status. 
The first thing you should expect after you submitted your application is to receive a biometric instruction letter which should be received within 48 hours. Once you receive this letter then you can book your biometric appointment as well. I have made another video for how to book biometric appointment in detail. You can find a link in description or you can directly go to my channel. If you like my effort please do subscribe to our channel or if you have any questions regarding whole process you can leave a comment in comment box I will definitely reply. Thank you very much.